Well, now we're going to do exercise two. Um, exercise two on rounding off uh, integer to certain decimal place. Now, um, question A says, without using a calculator, determine between which two integers the following irrational numbers lie. Then verify your answers by using a calculator. Now, uh, like for question one, for instance, square root of 50, so how to do that? Because this is a square root, okay, when you don't see any uh, indices, understand that uh, it is two there, so it's a square root. So when it's a square root, look at square numbers that are the closest square numbers to 50, okay? The closest square numbers to 50 are uh, on the, if I write 50 here, for instance, on the left of 50 is uh, 49, and then on the right of 50, is uh, uh, 64, next square, square numbers, okay? So I'll I, I just say uh, the next square number on the left of 50 is 49, square number, and then uh, the next square number will be 64, okay? Because this is, uh, um, those are square numbers. Now, I will say that uh, these are lesser than, lesser than, now, if I need to, because we talk about square root of foot of 50, then if I put the square root there, I must put square root this side and that also. Now, square root of 49 is 7. So 7 is lesser than square root of 50. It's lesser than 8. Okay. Uh, same thing also in question 2. Um, if I look at question 2 here, um, uh, uh, square root of 29. So uh, what we have here? Uh, I'm going to say 20, if I write 29 first, and I look at the square numbers that are closer to 29 on the left and, and right, okay? So on the left of 29, the square number, okay, can you guess? You guess the square number? And you can see it is 16 because uh, 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 it's the closest square numbers to 29. And now the next square, no, not, not, not 16, I was mistaken, it's 25. It's 25. Okay, on the left of, of 29. And then the next square number will be 36. Okay, on the, which, which will be definitely be uh, on, the, on the right of uh, 29. Now, then I can place in the square root. Square root, square root there. And then, yeah, lesser than, lesser than. Square root of 25 is 5. It's lesser than square root of 29. And this is lesser than 6. Okay. Now, um for this is a cube now this is a cube root okay so what i'm gonna do here that was question one and then question two for question three um i'm gonna say i have to move this a little bit up there uh then i'll write here uh, question three i'll write there uh, uh 45 now start thinking of a cube number on the left and right of uh, 45. Okay, on the left of 45, the cube number. So you need to know if you're unsure, you can go by trial and uh, error, say that cube of one is what, cube of two is what, etc. Like that. Uh, I know that cube of three is uh, uh, 27. And then cube of four will be 64. It's more than that. So it's going to be 27 here on the left and then the 64 on the right of 45. Now, uh, if I square root, a cube root, I mean, cube root here, cube root there, and then cube root there. So lesser than, lesser than, this is gonna be three, lesser than cube roots of 45, and then lesser than four, okay? Cube root of 64 is four. Now, for question four, question four involves a negative number here, negative 54. We need to be careful here. If I write like a negative 54, okay? I first, let's cover the negative sign so long, okay? Let's think of, uh, let me just first write uh, just 54. I'm gonna write 54 only. Now let's think of cube numbers on the left and right of 54, okay? I can see that uh, it's 27, 27 on the left and then 64 on the right. Now, uh, uh, I can put the cube, uh, the cube root, cube root here, 
cube root there and cube, cube root there also. So it's less and lesser than there. Now, if I simplify there, it's gonna be three lesser than cube root of 54 and then lesser than four. Now, because it's negative, they say it, it was given to be a negative 54, as you can see there. It means uh, my equation here has to be times by negative one, okay, times the whole equation by negative nine. Now, we need to be careful when we times uh, uh, inequality, this is not an equation, I meant this is an inequality because of this symbol. When we times with a negative symbol, the inequality is uh, change. So it's gonna be like negative four, lesser than negative cube root 54, lesser than negative three, okay? Uh, um, yes. So now uh, for question, that was question four. And then for question five, this is the fifth root, okay? Um, uh, I'm gonna write slide to question five. I'm gonna do this because it's very unusual. So it's gonna be 30 there. Now, the, 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 this is the fifth root, okay? Um, next number, uh, I know that uh, um, a number raised to the power five closer to 30, is 32 because 32 is like two to the power five. You can try in the calculator, okay? If you do two to the power five, you get 32. I do that by experience because I, I work with number usually. If you're unsure, use the calculator, say one to the power of five, and then see how much it's gonna give you. Two to the power of five, how much it's gonna give you? Three to the power of five, how much it's gonna give you? Now, I can, I know already that uh, 32 is uh, two to the power of five, and then I write 32 on the right because 32 is more than 30. Consequently, uh, I mean, therefore, one must be on the left of uh, 30. Then I can cube root, I mean, not cube root, but fifth root it. Okay, fifth root. Fifth root there, and then fifth root there, and then it's less than less than. I know this is a uh, fifth root of one is just one. It's less than the fifth root of 30. And then it's less than two. So the digits here are just one and two, okay? Thank you. Well, uh, now question B says that find a rational number between uh, these two fraction and between 3.14 and uh, pi. Now question one, for instance, I believe that the best way of solving this is to first write the fractions with a common denominator, like uh, as it is over here, three over five and, uh, excuse me, two over three. So I need to make uh, the denominator common. I'll find the LCM of five and three which is uh, 15, okay? Uh, the LCM, if you remember, L remember LCM of five and th three is 15 because 15, five gets into 15, three also gets into 15. So if I need to change five to 15, I'll times here by three, I'll times there also by three because whatever you do at the denominator, you must do at the numerator and vice versa. So I need to change this also to a, to 15 at times here by five and times there also by five. Now this will become like nine over 15. And so we have like, and um, 10 over 15. Now, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, now I can compare the numerator, okay? I see here is nine and that's 10. What's that can be in between nine and 10? Something like 9 comma five. I see here, nine comma five. So it's gonna be like a nine comma five over 15. But we don't write fractions with decimals like this. So this one comma five can be written as like nine ninety five over 150. So this number here is between, uh, three over five and two over three. Okay, you can check that in the calculator. If you do, for instance, um, uh, uh, 
three over five, if you do three uh, over five, and then you get 0 0.6, and then if you do two over three, you're gonna get uh, 0 0.67, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, this is 0 point, this is 0 0.6, and then if you do uh, two over, let's say two over three, okay, you know, this is, uh, Basically, zero comma six 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 six. So many six. I don't want to stop by three six. I write more six, and then uh, and then if you do ninety five divided by ninety five over uh one hundred fifty, see what will happen. Uh, SD there, you see zero point. So if I say here zero point six, and then three 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 three, you see. This is actually uh, between uh, the two uh, fraction. Or another strategy would have been like, you know, because this is this is 0 0.6, you find that in the calculator and you find also this in the calculator. It's gonna be shorter this way. And then you said, okay, you find any number in between there, it can be 0 0.62 for instance, which is in between 0 0.6 and 0 0.66 here. Then you can say, okay, this the fraction can be 62 over 100. It can be this one. You can simplify if you want. It's going to be 31 over 50. It's also one way of uh, solving. I believe this way will be even quicker. Okay. Uh, and then 3, 14 and pi. Okay, you know that pi is, uh, use the calculator. It's to get the value of pi, you press shift and then you pray that button over here in the calculator, this one. And then when you say equal and then you press S to D and 14. One four one five etc. So this is like uh, three point one four one five uh, many 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 digits. So a number in between these two can just be you can say three comma one four, and then you say one instead of writing five. You can write uh, you can write some something like four for instance. This number is between this and that and pi. Okay. Okay. Um, this exercise is a round off the following numbers to the number. Uh, the following numbers to the number of decimal places indicated. Now, uh, you know, when they say, uh, like here, three decimal places, it means you must look at the fourth decimal, uh, the fourth digit after the comma. And if that digit is, uh, if it is lesser, if the digit, the rule is like, if it is lesser than five, lesser than five, you will, uh, drop all the that fourth digit and all the remaining digits. And if it is more than five, then it must increase the third digit by one, okay? Increase the, the third digit by uh, one. Now let's see, uh, for question one, for instance, uh, to the third decimal digits, I'll look at the, the fourth decimal digits, I count one, two, three, four. And that's eight. So I will, because eight is more than five, I will increase uh, five by one unit. So it's going to become six. So over here, this will be uh, 9.236. So question two, to the second decimal place. Okay, I look at the third decimal value, which is three, it's lesser than five. So I will drop all the remaining digits here. So it's going to be, uh, 67,24. And then question three, they said again to the fourth decimal digit, I'll go to the fifth, count one, two, three, four, five, because it is five, okay? Because it is five, it has to be more than five, but it has to be five or more. Because it is five, I will increase this one by one unit, and then this will become nine. So this will be 4.3769. Question four, to the fifth decimal digits, I'll go to the sixth decimal digit. I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six. So now uh, the sixth digit is eight. So I must increase uh, 
uh, the fifth digit by one. So when I want to increase by nine, I, I see it's nine, it's gonna be 10, but I cannot write 10 here. In this case, this is what I write. Let me first write the, the, the digits like 17, comma two, four. And then because it's 10, I must increase this by one unit again, and that's gonna be four. So it's gonna be uh, four, zero. Okay, let's count one, two, three, four. Yes, it's gonna be four and then zero. It's gonna be like that. Let me repeat again. Over here, the sixth digit is eight and the fifth is nine. So if I need to increase this by one, it's gonna be 10, but I can't write two digits in one decimal place. Each decimal place has uh, uh, one uh, value, okay? Um, the placeholder for each decimal is just one. Now, um, uh, in this case, I will then increase the previous digit by one and then make it zero. So that's why this become four. Uh, it was 24, seven, and then four, sorry. Mm. 24, seven, and then four, zero. Yes, that's, and then question five. Uh, to three decimal place, I see their own, if I count one, two, three, I look at the fourth decimal place, which is nine. So I might increase this by one unit, it's gonna be 10. So I increase this by one unit, it's gonna be 10. I increase by one unit, still 10. And then I will increase then, this by one unit, then it, it, it's, it's gonna be a, a, another 10. And then I increase this, this digits. So this will be just 80, if I need to increase it into uh, the third decimal place. Okay, and then question six, the fourth decimal digit here, I look at the fifth decimal digit, which is, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I increase this one by one unit because six is more than five. So this will be uh, 34, two, seven, uh, eight, five. And then question seven, uh, it's uh, to the fifth decimal place, I count one, two, three, four, five, six. I look at the six. And then because this is five, okay, I will increase, um, this by one, okay? So it's gonna be uh, five comma five, 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 and then six like that. And then eight, eight, eight says uh, three pi to three decimal places. First of all, we need to extend three, three pi. So I wanna do uh, uh, three. To get pi, you press shift, and then you press this button there, this one the times 10 to the power of x, and then this is equal to what? And then you press SD. And then uh, to, uh, the question says to three decimal places, you count one, two, three, you look at the fourth decimal value. Because this is seven, it's more than five. We will increase, we will increase uh, the previous digit by one. So this will be 9.425, 9.425, thank you. Well, if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like the video. Thank you.